Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lisa Denae and this is Behind the Song Starlet. So this song was inspired by another music writer from Musical Notes Global and they wrote a review on my past two releases, Type Race and 1445. In the review, they actually ended up calling me a rising pop starlet. And my co-writer, a girl named Jane, called me, she loved the review, but then she was also like, Lisa, we have to write you a song called Starlet. It was a term that we haven't heard in a very long time, so we just thought it was a really fresh and dope idea. And I, of course, was just like, yeah, let's do it. The songwriting process for this, lyrically and melodically, was very easy came very easy to us very natural a girl named jane actually presented the hook that you are hearing in the chorus she presented that to me and she didn't really know if i was gonna like it or not but as soon as she sang it i was like uh yeah that's really really catchy and let's just go off of that so from there with us, the way that we write together, we kind of like sit down and have a whole interview. So she was just asking me questions like, what makes you a starlet? Like when you think of the word starlet, what comes to mind? And immediately I just started telling her about my whole experience uh, being a woman in the music industry and how when I was younger, you know, I would always look up to like Christina Aguilera, Mariah Carey, Britney Spears, and when I see those artists, I would always say to my parents or my friends or whoever it may be, I would always say, I want to be her. So from there, as I got older and started, you know, becoming more involved in the music industry, that idea started to change, which I started telling a girl named Jane when we were writing, that idea just started to evolve because I was kind of seeing something very similar happening in the industry where a lot of the female artists that are really being pushed and marketed to a mainstream level don't look like me. And it just was really discouraging. Like I started questioning myself, like, am I, am I going to be able to do this? Like, am I going to succeed in this career where I imagined my whole life that I wanted to go, which is basically worldwide. And it was just, again, like very discouraging. And we started talking more about that aspect and how that really affected my mental health and, you know, where I ended up going as far as falling into a deep depression back in 2016 when other things in my life were collapsing i again just immediately thought of my career right in the music industry and that kind of also played a huge part in bringing me to that mental state so the verses that you hear are very specific to what I've experienced, but what we wanted to do was make this an anthem. So with the pre-chorus and the chorus, that just came really natural as far as making sure that it was universal because I know that I'm not the only person out there that feels the same way and really truly turn to music when I'm want to try to get out of that headspace and I want to look for more encouraging and empowering lyrics as well. From there, we decided that my frequent producer, John McLucas, would be the best fit for this production. So we took the lyrics and the melody to him and I had song references as far as where I wanted to go with sound and this tr production really truly honed in on the Lisa Denae sound and I am just so grateful that Mick Lucas was on board with everything and the production for this actually kind of took us a while. Normally in the past when us three would come together to work on my songs 
we would actually physically be in a studio and because of distance and time scheduling we decided to do this remote and there was a lot of back and forth emails as far as like me trying to figure out how to articulate a sound that I wanted to hear or a sound that I didn't want to hear, how to manipulate a specific sound in the track. And it was just very difficult that we actually had, I think about 10 production demos before I ended up uh, recording the vocals for Starlet, but honestly, if you have listened to the song or when you go and listen to it, knowing that fact, I feel like there's a lot, of, a lot more appreciation to the production, and you can totally tell that we spent a lot of time making sure that this sound again was honing into the Lisa Denae sound, which I really, truly think it does. When I went into the studio to actually record the vocals, that was a very interesting process for me because I've been told that my studio work doesn't necessarily translate like my live performances do. In my live performances, it's very easy for me to emote because I am feeding off of the energy from the audience or even when I'm just doing live streaming performances. I don't know, being in that moment, I have full control of how I want to set the mood, how I want to set the tone. And with my studio work, a lot of people notice that they don't necessarily feel like an emotional connection because for some reason, I don't know, laying it down in the studio is just very different for me in general. So with this song, I kind of felt a lot of pressure I guess you could say so I just wanted it to be like perfect and I remember when we did the first vocal take I think I sang through the whole song I normally try to sing through the whole song and when it was over I remember just it was like silent for a good minute and I'm just like looking at both of them, like, is someone gonna say something? Like, was it great? Was it bad? And they both look at each other, and then they go look at me, and they're like, Lisa, what's what's going on here? And I'm like, well, I'm like, you know, trying to bring out my like personality and like be emotive, and they're like, they're like, no, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. So I took a deep breath, and we, they were just like. Your personality is coming through, but the emotion is like contradicting the type of vibe that you know we need to set. So, um, so I took a deep breath, and then we did the next takes, and they were just like, "Okay, much better." Like just, and so I just explained to them, you know, I just felt like a lot of pressure, and like I really just wanted this to be like perfect, and um, they totally understood, and they just laughed, but they were like. No, you're 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 fine. You're totally fine. Personality's coming through, and that is what is important. I also remember after we laid down the vocals, you know, the bridge part. I was still kind of unsure of. And once we laid down the vocals, I was able to really like hear everything into context. And I finally was just like, okay, I think what needs to be happening in this atmospheric bridge that McLuke has created, I think we need to just take some lyric lines that we want to highlight that are like kind of important or even just fit with the bridge in general and just like chop it up. So that's where the whole idea came for, for the bridge. And then with that, McLucas surprised me with the outro. And the outro is probably one of my favorite sections of the song. It just, I really love the beat, I love the energy, I love the sounds that are used in the outro, and I love what he did with using my tagline, I'm starlit and I'm a starlet. And I just was so stoked when he presented that to me. But other than those couple bumps <laughs> along the way with this song, it truly just turned out amazing and it's super cinematic, dark pop, uh, very anthemic of course 
and it's all about self-love and empowerment and I really truly hope that it inspires so many other people that may feel like they're always doubted by a lot of people. I hope it really inspires them to just focus on you, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, and just go after what you want in life because it really truly is possible. But you just really have to find that starlet in you. So if you haven't heard it already, make sure to go download and stream Starlet by me, Lisa Denae, and add it to your favorite playlist, share it with your friends, and I just hope that it puts you in a great mood. And again, I truly just hope that it also inspires all of you to go after what you want in life.